Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page. Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, before this video gets started, I want to say I'm now back from my trip. And I also want to say I have lost my voice. So, I might sound a little bit off in this video. Um, but, yeah, guys, I, I, it's kind of coming back. It was a lot worse yesterday and the day before. Um, I was just, I was having so much fun this weekend. I lost my voice. But, yeah, we are, we're back here recording videos. Uh, if you guys didn't know, all the videos that went out uh, the past few days were pre-recorded. So, yeah, ju ju just a fun fact. If I have a lot of voice cracks this video, my apologies. Um, I really have just, like, pretty much not talked at all today. Um, but, yeah, now I'm, now I'm talking. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not sick or anything, though, guys. At least I hope not. I think it's just I lost my voice from talking so much and having so much fun. So, guys, either way, uh, this video is kind of special. When we were away, a lot of mods came out. A lot of mods have really wanted to come out actually got released. So, that's really cool. Um, yeah, we're going to be checking out one of them today. So, let's open up our garage. And you guys probably already know this, but we now have a tow truck in the game. Now, it's technically a service truck. Um... But yeah, th this is this is this is our tow truck. Okay, this is the best tow truck we currently got. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm honestly pretty happy with it. It's definitely good for a first release. Um, like like they 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 tried something new releasing this, and they did a very very good job. So I'm very happy with that. Thank you, Expendables Modding. Uh, and yeah, guys, this mod's actually public. Go on the Expendables Modding Facebook page. No, I will not send you guys a direct download link. You have to go on expendables modding i'm i'm not i'm not gonna prevent people from going to the page you guys have to go to the facebook page um yeah expendables modding on facebook but guys either way uh we have a vehicle that uh did not really make it over uh turn too well and yeah they, they were trying to turn on you, you guys will recognize this part, this part on the map actually i think the last video that was released if i'm correct it was actually of this uh it was at this location or at least we drove uh at the location uh during the video so that's pretty cool but yeah either way so we are going up the mountain and uh what, what happened was the vehicle went up the mountain and there was a turn and they took the turn too fast and went over the guardrail and now they are in a jam the vehicle seems to be all good in working condition it just has no way to get uh, up and they, they they could try driving it forwards and down the hill, but that's just too risky And they just want to make sure that it is safe to drive either way So uh, again guys, it, it is a it, the vehicle can handle quite a bit But the position it's currently in is just a bit too much for it um, At least for safety sake. So either way we're going up this hill guys I want to say I had an amazing short trip you guys know I was only away for like three days uh, It was some of the best days of my life. Uh, I I said I might record when I'm there, and I decided not to. And here's the thing, guys. I love recording, like, videos on my computer. I love recording. I, just, I love recording with my camera and stuff, right? You guys know I want to be a video editor. I love footage, right? But I just wanted to have fun. Um, and carrying around a camera prevents you from doing that at times. Uh, at least in my... The, the things I was doing, I, it was just too much of a hassle, and I just really wanted to enjoy myself. So I didn't record when I was gone. Again, I love recording, just it was not the right time or place to record. Although it would have been cool footage, it's just I had to do what I thought was best for me. Uh, so I do apologize for anyone who was looking forward for footage. I'll probably be saying a few stories over the next little bit. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, just note that... Uh, I had a really good time, and I'm I'm glad to be back, though. Either way, so we're going to go ahead, guys, and uh, unfold this. There we go. We're going to want to turn on our strobes at the back. We're going to want to turn on hazards. And, yeah, and we can start we can start working. So we're going to gonna have to, like, kind of bear with me, guys, because I have used the truck a little bit, but I'm not the most experienced with this arm, so it, this is going to be a little bit challenging um, to use. But either way... There we go. We're going to put this out like so. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to want to release down this um, ch this chain. Not It's not a chain. Well, it's it's a rope. It's a rope. It, I think it's supposed to be technically like a chain, but it's a, it's a rope. So there we go. We're going to want to release it. Hopefully. Oh, is that as far as it will go? I didn't actually test this out. That, that is as far as it will go. Okay. So we're going to... 
Guys, I think we're gonna have to come at this a different angle. Interesting. Okay, here, you know what we'll do? I have an idea, I have an idea, okay? Yeah, yeah, I have I have I have an idea. We're gonna lower this down, okay? As best we can. Just drop it down. There we go. Uh can this go out further? Yes it can. Okay, and yeah, just drop it down. Um no, raise it back up. Okay, just like that. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go over this guardrail. Let's be let's be careful guys. So again, this truck is it should be okay to drive, but it's just it's too hard for them to drive forward. Hopefully we can back it up to just get to here. There's no way it's gonna get over this guardrail by itself. But I'm hoping if we just drive this a little distance we can we can make it. If not, then we'll have to figure something else out. Here we go. Okay. So we're gonna be very, very careful. Uh does this okay, it has hazards. Yeah, it does it does have hazards. Okay. We're gonna be going like this. Uh here, I'm gonna lower the volume because I think this vehicle's kinda loud. So there we go. Okay. Currently we are rolling and stuck. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. There we go. Oh, oh. Are you stuck again? Okay. It wants you to just fall forwards, obviously, guys, right? Um, but we cannot have it do that. I might I might need to assist it. I might need to assist it, guys, just because it is so stuck. And this, I cannot get my vehicle down here, guys. I would if I could. But I, I really cannot get my vehicle down there. Is there... Here, let's turn this off for a sec. Is there anywhere we could see that it's safe enough to try driving? I don't think we could make this turn and go upwards. So I think we're just going to have to give it a little bit of a assistance. If you close your eyes there. Um, yeah, let's let's see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. I know that's not the most realistic, guys. But we got to do what we got to do. I guess I could edit that out, really. But you, yeah, you guys, we just, we had to give it a little bit of assistance. Okay, give it some power. Give it some power. And there we... Oh, no, 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 no. See, it's just trying to fly forward. Okay. There we go. We got that done. Let's go over this guardrail. Uh, here, how do I get back over? Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so let's get back in here. And yeah, I'm definitely going to need these controls out. So, how should we do this? So, we want to probably pull this back a little. Uh, come on, come on. Pull it, that back. There we go. Okay. And we should now attach. There we go. Okay. So we are attached. We're going to pull in a little bit because I don't want our um, I don't want our vehicle to fall here. So we're going to see if we can just kind of pull in that arm a bit. And then, yeah. I, honestly, I want to move adjust the angle too. We are attached to this thing. If we can adjust this angle, that would be ideal. Uh, okay, pull this in, adjust the angle, adjust, adjust. Okay, we're going to have to pull it back out and start adjusting again. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. Okay, we're going to want to start lifting up now. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. Collision's being a bit tricky here. Let's see if this will be better. It looks like that is. Okay, there we go. There we go. We want to make sure our arm is as close in as it can. We just have to go a little bit higher here. A little bit higher. There we go. I think that should be okay. Pull in, pull in. There we go. And we're going to keep pulling this. There we go. Let's turn our arm, our beam. Oh, come on. Come on. Ve our vehicle is trying to lift up. Our vehicle is trying to lift. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. What should we do here? Um, okay. I think extend this arm out. If we Can we lower this arm? I know you can. How do I do that? Um... Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, we can get that lowered there. Um, oh, we can actually turn our hook as well. So I just, what I just did was I turned our hook, which should assist us here. I think what we'll do is we're going to, I want to fold the truck in, but then that, yeah, okay. Here, let's fold the truck in. Let's see if we can just drive forward a little. Okay, let's see if we have enough power. Our arm is not extended outwards. So we aren't at risk of tipping currently, which is obviously good. Um, okay, if we can just... Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get for that. Go ahead and... Yeah, okay. Or, oh, look at... 
Oh, tough angle right there. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to raise up our arm. There we go. Okay. I want to raise it up so this vehicle is trying to go above the guardrail. There we go. Okay. Okay. Come on. Lower, lower the, lower that down. Lower that down. Come on. Come on. Okay. You guys, we haven't done our tow truck stuff in a while. Again, I'm still trying to learn these controls. Oh, come on. We're guys, we're going to be experts at this soon enough. Don't worry. Here we go. Let's pull that a bit. Pull, 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 pull. This is this is a very tricky area. Uh, we've never also used a vehicle with this kind of... Um, th with this kind of arm before. Like, even in the old game, we, we never really used this kind of arm. Okay, come on. It's struggling. We're going to have to raise this up more. Um, okay, why aren't you... It's saying it's attached, but as you guys can tell, it's being a little bit weird here. Yeah, it's acting like it's attached, but, oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay, so this definitely has some bugs still, guys, as you guys could tell. Uh, right there, that's not normal for the hook to do that. It's not the way it's supposed to work. Oh, come on. Guys, I've never I know this is not the most realistic, but this this was this is a challenging area to start off with. We really should have probably done an easier job to begin with. Um okay, I don't want to damage our truck here. Can we lower down our arm? There we go. There we go. Okay, and we'll pull up this cord. Uh okay, I guess we should probably put it there. Okay, let's see if we can Go like that, and let's see if we can kind of turn ourselves. Oh, now we're going over. Come on. Okay, we need to make sure we have enough space to turn. We're at the right angle, though, right now. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's adjust this arm out. There we go. Uh, can we pull it? Yes, our arm can go in a little bit more. Perfect. We can lower that down a bit. And that should be pretty much as good as we're going to get. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at that. Okay, let's move this arm so it's more centered. There we go. Okay, so here we go, guys. Um, We want to ideally bring it back to the shop. Now, the issue is there's nowhere to turn around. Um, As, as, you, as you guys know, there's nowhere to really turn around. So we're going we're gonna to have to drive a bit here. We're definitely going to have to drive a bit here. It's not ideal. Now, we are struggling to drive, too. We're going right now 15 miles an hour. When our top speed is 68 on this vehicle. So we definitely need to uh, be watching that. I don't know why it's struggling this much. It really shouldn't be struggling this much. Um, again, guys, it's a new mod. So there's some work to be done, as you, we could already tell. But this is a very, very good start. Um, and I'm like, I'm happy with the way this is. The fact that they had this new mechanic put in, like with the whole t um, towing mechanic... On top of that, they put a vehicle with it that was working. That like like the interior is done. You even see like those signals work. Does the horn work? Yeah, the horn works too. Like that's really cool. Also, we probably should turn this back up. Can you guys hear this at all? I hope you can. You should be able to. Um, but yeah, okay. So we're gonna just drive down. We need to be careful because this road is very windy. Um. But obviously it's windy. That's how they kind of went over the guardrail. But this, I don't know, this part should be okay. We should be able to manage here. We know to be careful. And we are cruising at quite a low speed. Like the vehicle has torque. Just it's not, I don't know. I don't know. It, it takes time. It's a, it's a truck. It is a truck. There we go, guys. I'm hoping eventually we can get like um, like a tow truck similar to the ones we used to have with like the big arms and stuff um like the wreckers those are the ones i'm really hoping we can get out but this is amazing that we have this mechanic now in the game uh it's been something i've been wanting for for ever since the game came out you guys know we've gone back to fs17 a few times just because th we just that's the way it is we needed the um we need the tow trucks and the old game was the only one that had any kind of towing mechanic but now, now we have one in FS19, which is really, really cool. So thank you, Expendables Modding, for that. I don't, I, I'm assuming that they were the one who 
figured out how to get this tow truck script thing to work. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, like the towing script. Um, but if it wasn't them, if they just made the vehicle, then my apologies. Uh, credits to whoever did do the script. But I believe that it was uh, that they are responsible for getting this whole script uh, created. Or at least someone on their team uh, is responsible. Or, or they release it. That's from my knowledge. Um, again, I was away, guys. So I haven't been able to stay up to date with all this news in the game. Oh. Ooh. 11 miles an hour. Okay, come on. Come on. That should not have slowed us down that much. We just need to be putting our pedal to the metal. Like, we are... We, we should be... This is... Like, we're trying to floor it right now, guys, but... 15 miles an hour is not that good because this hill is not that steep yet. It's going to get a lot steeper. So hopefully we can keep up our speed at least. We will We will have to see. Here we go. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do a little bit of first person action. Again, guys, I apologize for my voice being kind of gone. Um, well, like it is gone, but there's nothing I can do about that. Luckily, I recorded a video for Tuesday. I'm actually recording this one on Tuesday. But I pre-recorded a video for Tuesday even though I came back Monday night. Just because I knew that, I knew that it would, um, it would be challenging for me to get a video recorded and edited and uploaded on the Tuesday, uh, so today. So that's why, that's that's why I had that pre-recorded. But I sadly, don't have another video pre-recorded for tomorrow. The day you guys are seeing this. But yeah. Either way, guys, let's go up here. Uh, also, guys, if you guys can't tell, I'm kind of tired right now too. Um, it's just, I, I had an amazing trip, but most of the nights were like 4 a.m. and then waking up at like 7. Um, so I, you wanted the, I wanted the days to be as long as possible. Um, so yeah, it, it was, it was tiring. It was tiring getting very few hours, like from 4 to 7 sleeping, 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. sleeping. I know most of you guys in the UK do that all the time, um, which I'm, amazed of but us like Canadians and Americans I know too we we aren't as good at that as you guys are I don't guys I'm, I'm not saying Americans and Canadians aren't it will do it I'm Canadian if you guys didn't know and I love Americans but let's be honest we all know everyone in the UK somehow doesn't need sleep and I, I, I I'm still trying to figure that out I'm trying to figure out how to get my body to that point where I literally don't have to sleep um but yeah it, guys, it, speaking of which, shout out to, shout out to all of our UK viewers. There's a lot of you guys, and I try uploading at a time where it's not too late for you guys. Um, but I obviously still have to be mindful that the majority of the audience is from the US, um, and then and then second is the UK. But it's like sixty or seventy percent. I think seventy percent is the UK, is the US, and then like nine percent is the UK, and then like six percent is Canada. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of crazy how many people are from the U.S. Obviously, the U.S. is a big country, um, but I, I like six percent or nine percent or whatever it is, um, around it's under it's between five and ten percent is from the U.K. And I obviously again guys want to be uh, mindful of that. Like although they aren't the majority, um, they do try their best to stay up. So I try delivering at a time that it's not too late for them, especially on weekends try allowing them to kind of sleep a bit um so, so i upload the videos a bit earlier if you guys didn't know actually my schedule for posting um it's always been the same weekends is 1 30 p.m eastern which is 12 30 um central time which is like the times when like spencer follows uh and it's I, I don't know what time in the uk i think like 5 30 or 6 30 or 7 30 p.m it's one of those times and then on weekdays I upload at 5.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 p.m. Uh, Central. And then I, I don't know what time that is in UK. I think 10.30, maybe 9.30. I'm not sure. It might even be 11.30, but I, 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 I'm not, not 100% sure. But I know it's not it's not like it's like 3 a.m. for them, right? If I upload later, it would be like 3 a.m. for them. Um, but yeah, I, I try being as mindful of it as I can that people are from all over the world and I know guys there's a lot of you guys also from all these other countries as well um, so yeah like I, I tried making the best for all of you guys the only time zone I really am not the best with um, with uploading times in and stuff is if you live in like um, what 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 time zone I don't even know what time zone I follow but if you live in like um, 
Oh, why am I blanking? If you live in, um, like, Australia, you guys are literally on, like, a different day than me. Um, like, you guys are... It's... I don't know what the difference is, but it's... It's something crazy. So, yeah, it's, it's very challenging for me to upload at a time that works good for you guys. But either way, guys, we got this done. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we can get some more tow trucks in the future. You guys are so awesome. Bye-bye. Want to keep up with the latest Garrett Plays videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. If you want to see extra content, join our Patreon page.